So this book, I think I originally came across this book when I was in high school, but later on I got it as a young man. Um, there you see Apia and uh, Gates and Africana. Uh, I don't remember where I got this book from, actually. I just know I got it last year and I was uh, reading through it. But it's the Encyclopedia of the African and African American Experience dedicated to W.B. Du Bois or, or W.B. Du Bois. Um, I always like encyclopedias and dictionaries because you have a large advisory board or and or contributors and usually they're made up of a lot of different scholars sometimes these scholars are just trained uh, individuals they're not necessarily intellectual and you can get some garbage but a lot of time you get good information from these individuals so why did this book change my life as you can see I've never showing you guys my library but here are a lot of my books here. This is not my complete collection. I shouldn't even be showing this. This is top, top secret stuff. Real estate riches and some other things I've been reading. But um, I have a lot of different books. So of all the books that I've re I'm reading and I've read, why this book? Why has this book changed my life? Well, I just opened the page right and look what it, look what it turned to. Black Consciousness in Brazil. Latin America and the Caribbean. That's why this book changed my life. This book is like a Wikipedia or like Encyclopedia Britannica on a smaller scale, but it's just totally about the African, African American experience. So we're talking about Afro Caribbean. We're talking about um, the people of Yemen. We're talking about the people of the Horn in Africa. We're talking about um, Madagascar. We're talking about um, Saint Kitts. We're talking about you know, Dominica, the Republica Dominicana, Brazil, um, Guyana. We're talking about the Gullah and Geechee people, slavery in, you know, parts of Mexico or the, the ranch, the rancheros, the black rancheros in Mexico. It covers so much history that it's mind boggling. But what I was really doing a cursory study of, what I like is because they have little articles where you can do cursory, you can do cursory studies. So that's like small studies of things. So if you want to, like, okay, I don't know anything about black consciousness in Brazil. Let me let me crack it open and read through it. So you can read like a, a small article. It's like a one two page article on black consciousness in Brazil, and you get, um, you know, citations. You get um, different references to more sources where you can go out and research more yourself with the internet. It has Black Cowboys, um, Black History Month, Negro History Week, the history of that, BET. Um, it's, in, it's in alphabetical order, so it has all kind of stuff in here. Like I learned, particularly with this, I learned about the Haitian and Dominican uh, conflict and the history behind that. Um, a lot of the racism and uh, self-hatred in Dominican Republic I learned about. Um, what's through here, history of the um, Puerto Rico, a lot of history of uh, f like forced immigration in order to whiten certain populations um, in like Latin America and Caribbean. Um, I learned about that in here. Uh, you know, like standout figures in history you'll find here, um, like musicians. Uh, look at this. This is the celebration of the abolition of uh, abolition of slavery in France. Um, it's just it's so much information. I remember when I first got it, I was reading for like a month. Um, it's like like here literature, black literature in Spanish America. Um, John Henry Clark said, I believe, or was it uh, Schomburg, Marion Schomburg, but he said that. When you study African history, you're studying world history. So some people may wonder, well, why are you just one? Why are you so uh, concerned about Black history? Well, the secret is that when you study Black history or African history, Moorish history, um, you're studying world history, and you're getting pieces of world history, and you can combine it. 
one of my favorite articles was on Puerto Rico. My mom used to say, boy, Puerto Ricans are black. Puerto Ricans are Moors. I didn't know what she was talking about until I started studying. Once I started studying, it made sense. You start seeing the historical figures, the warriors in these countries. You start studying about Pushkin Alexander from Moscow, his contributions to Russian poetry, the Russian language. Um, you start learning all kind of stuff. Uh, and so this, uh, this book really changed my life because it, it opened my eyes to um, Somalia, to the Schomburg Library, to, um, you know, people in the Congo, Rwanda. I mean, you learn so much. And if you have a thirst for knowledge, an encyclopedia like this, you can sit down and read forever. I went to learn about Trinidad and Tobago. So I got my Trini friends from Howard University. Um, you know, I want to learn a little bit about them. And you get in, you learn. So this one of the books that changed my life. Um, it allows you to get uh, articles, small cursory articles on a thousand, more than a thousand different topics. Um, and you kind of can just flip through and just discover things. So I highly recommend it. You'd be surprised what you can learn about um, Puerto Rico. You'd be surprised what you can learn about Ethiopia, the Congo, um, West Af different parts of West Africa. You, you can learn a lot. So um, I highly recommend it. Your brother, your friend, your dietitian back again for another installment in spirit, nutrition, books that changed my life.